you how you can take off your watch strap from your existing watch and put on a new one in an easy and fun way. Welcome back to another episode and today I'm going to talk about how to change your watch strap. You already know the drill. First, we need to make some coffee. So we have some coffee. Now, next step would be to show you what's on my wrist. Cool watch, right? So let's put two minutes on the clock. Let's try something different. And I'll show you how you can take off your watch strap from your existing watch and put on a new one in an easy and fun way. Well, not fun, but safe way. First step, we need some tools to work with. You have your watch. We need a tool, something like this, a fitting tool. Then we need some tape. And of course, we need a new strap. And the best part of it is um, we're gonna do it a little bit differently this time because we are going to choose a strap that has a quick release or quick exchange pin. First step is to cover the watch with, or to cover the lug where we're going to operate on with the tool with a little bit of tape. After we've put on the tape, what we're going to do next is we are going to pull down or press down the watch strap a little bit in order to make space for the fitting tool to go in. Next up we go in with the well two tip part of the tool in order to push down the push pin and then to release the watch strap. And as simple as that, you can also adjust your fingers to the back of the watch strap in order to push it inwards so that it doesn't jump out um, on the back side or well, actually on the front facing side. So what you wanna do is you place your finger behind and then you just push, you push it out so it doesn't um, jump out. As you can see, it's very, very simple. If you follow these tips, at least I have found it a very safe way to remove a watch strap that doesn't have a quick release mechanism. Try to do it as controlled as possible. Yeah, refrain from the push pins jumping around everywhere. So just bear that in mind. That's it. This is my recommendation or this is the way I do it. Um, I've done it a lot of times like this. Nowadays I use the quick exchange push pins because it's just much easier and much safer to remove the watch straps. And um, as some of you might know, for all of you that are following me on Instagram, I change my watch straps a lot, even multiple times daily. So for me, it's very essential that I have something um, that doesn't scratch my case. And again, that's very easy and safe to exchange. That's all for this episode. I hope you liked it and I hope you got some value out of it. If you have, please don't forget to subscribe. And um, if you click the bell button, you'll get notified whenever I put up a new video. You might like that as well. There's more of these kinds of videos coming, so stay tuned. I'm not sure if we made it under two minutes, probably not, but doesn't matter. And as always, if you feel like it, put a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Oh. We're still rolling. Well, if you're still here, then um, 
go on over to my Instagram and if you have any suggestions for other topics that you'd like to know about watches and straps, send, it, send them to me and I'd be happy to make a video like this one with your suggestion. And um, yeah, now I'll go and do something else. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.